So my name's Garrett and I'm teaching English and Geography. So, um, first impressions on first day, I always remember first of all coming through the really big gates and finding it really, really intimidating because there were so many students and the primary school that I attended was really, really small. Mm -hmm. So this was a huge leap and I remember there was just a big line of teachers all along the corridor and we were all ushered then up into the hall and we met our form tutors then and so we'll take a walk up this way. So this is where we were all lined up on the very, very first day and all our tutors came in and teachers and the principal was standing right in the middle and he explained the rules of the new school and what was expected of everybody. I remember I came with three friends from the secondary school and we were feeling exactly the same way so we were literally inseparable for the first three months. We literally huddled together walking through the whole corridors. So um, I suppose the next place I suppose we could head up to is the social area. So that's where we would all go on our lunch breaks. So we head out this way. So up all in this area, this would have been the social area. So this is where we had all our lunch breaks. So we'd come here at 11 o'clock on big break and we'd just chill and relax here before the bell went to head to the rest of our classes. When I was here, all the pool tables, they were in here. So they don't know how lucky they are now. <laughs> As I said, every morning we'd come in. If we didn't have homework done, we'd be scribbling it away, trying to get it done before we went into class. Um, and then the same after school, we'd come here and relax and, mm -hmm. and hang out for a little bit. This is Catherine, the cleaner. Hello. Uh, <laughs> Hello. I'm really scared from this. It's just a shame to me. <laughs> Do you have the keys? So we've actually two woodwork rooms. We have this one and then another one next door. A lot of this one students wouldn't really get into until they were in fifth and sixth year. Do you remember what, like what you did for your project? Yeah, I mean, absolutely huge cabinet. I think it was the longest running woodwork project in the history of the school. It literally took forever. I was here every Wednesday after school, every day for months, trying to get the thing finished. So, so that would have been my bench there. So this is where all the painstaking work went on for a good six and a half months and all those extra Wednesdays after school. So that would have been my spot there. So will we head down then the direction towards my classrooms? Yeah. yeah. I'd say... I've seen through maybe, I'm here four years, so I've seen through four, six class groups, so maybe around 60, 70, in around there, I think. When I started here, I would have been 21, so they would have been at a push 18, so not too far apart. Did you find that difficult? Did you, did you have any six years? I had six years, yeah. So again, it felt really strange with such, as you say, a short age gap. One of the things that when I came back as a teacher, I didn't have a fixed classroom. So I, I was moving around from room to room to room and I suppose every time I went into a new into a classroom I was I found myself standing at the top of the room, staring down at the desk going, How have you managed to go from that side to this side? <laughs> but I think yeah, that was that was really strange. Um I don't think they pushed me more than other students, but what I did find looking back now is they encourage a lot of competition between students so it was almost a reverse psychology that we're trying to outdo each other and by me trying to outdo him and him trying to outdo him we're giving the teacher exactly what he and she wanted which was the results on the page. Uh, one particular class um, and he's a teacher here at the moment, um, Gareth, um, Mr Marr to the students but Mr Marr was here and uh, I still remember himself and a number of lads they were challenging in a different way because it was one of the first group of lads that wanted to to do extremely well. 
I don't actually think it's hit me yet because we're coming to the business end of the year now and the fact that I have all the third years and all the six years now for exams, I feel like I haven't even had a second to think about it. I don't think it'll really hit me until June when we're taking the stuff down and starting to pack away. That's when it'll, it'll really start to sink in. I'm excited, I suppose. I mean, change is as good as the next, I suppose, you know, and there, there would be no point going to the new school trying to cling on to it, it was done this way, it should be done that way, you know. We, I think we just need to go up to the new school with open arms, open mind, and just embrace it for what it is and throw ourselves into it and hope for the best. It's going to be so, so scary. I can't even bring myself to think. I suppose. I'll be reflecting on my time as a student and then, especially this year, being based in this room for the whole year, it's going to be intense, but I suppose I'll, I'll remember more of the good than, than the bad, and that's all we can do. And I suppose it is a little bit symbolic of what's coming down, I suppose, along with the amalgamation, but again, I'm sure in the new school, the memories will be taken up and the rest will just be kind of paved over and forgotten about as, as much as I can. What do you think that's a good thing to forget? Um, probably not. Forgetting this side of things, maybe. Okay, and I suppose the main focus is just going to be on the good memories that when the school was fully operational with all the rooms and busy students, big, big numbers, we will try and hang on to those memories more so than standing in empty classrooms. Yeah, I think the worst nightmare would be to see it knocked down. I hope that doesn't happen, but again, everything is up in the air at the minute, I'm not too sure. It would be really, really sad because it really would feel like that is the end of an era and memories and stuff like that, so hopefully not. Stop. Hey. So. Mr. Ma!